I went to NYU and after I got my job at MTV, I stayed in Greenwich Village and I got a little apartment very near my dorm. And when I'd run into people from college, you know, I had friends who were still in college and they'd go, oh, Martha, what are you doing now? And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to make my bus. I'm never going to make my bus because I would have to explain, well, I'm doing this cable thing. And people back then would think cable was probably um, like Ugly George and Robin Bird. They pretty much dominated cable back then, public access. And it was like, are you going to keep your clothes on? That's like a big question that people had back then when you say that you were doing a cable show. And I'd be like, no, no, no. It's like being on the radio, but it's on TV. What do you mean? It's these videos. You know how on Midnight Special they show these videos? It's all videos. And I'm talking in between. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm so late now. I got to the point where I would tell people I'm teaching kindergarten and I would be done with it because I didn't have enough time to explain. But eventually I could say, you know those commercials where Pete Townsend is saying, I want my MTV? That's where I work. And that's when I started to be able to point to something and say, that's where I'm working. And people would be like, oh, okay, yeah, I've seen those commercials. Yeah, okay, oh, that's cool. Even though we didn't have MTV in the city yet, but people knew those commercials because they were, you know, so legendary. So, you know, right away, demand your MTV so that I could say, that's where I work.